Number 65. At very low temperatures, oxygen, which is O2, freezes and forms a crystalline solid. Which best describes these crystals? Okay. Ooh, seems like we have a multiple choice here. Love multiple choice because we could always dwindle our way down to pick the right answer. So the thing here, they told us two things. That they told us the substance in question, which is O2, and they're telling us that this forms a crystalline solid. Okay. So from the top, we know that whenever a liquid freezes into a solid, so L to S, liquid turns into a solid, this is freezing, there's basically only two options in which uh, what solid will be formed when that liquid turns into the solid. So when a liquid turns into a solid, when it freezes, it will either turn into a crystalline solid, which is the one that is stated here, right? It said that it formed a crystalline solid, or it will form another type of solid called an amorphous solid. These are your two different classifications of the actual solids. So if it told us that it was forming a crystalline solid, the amorphous answer right here, right, can't be amorphous because you're either in one of the two. You're either a crystalline solid or you're an amorphous solid. So we can kind of get rid of D right off the bat. Now just know that all of these other ones, ionic, covalent, net, uh, ionic, covalent network, metallic, and molecular crystals, these are all following in the crystalline uh, solid. So you will branch out four ways. You have ionic, you have covalent, network, covalent network, you have metallic, and maybe I'll just bring this a little bit over here. Metallic, and the last one, which I might want to just put over here, is molecular. So now, we have to dive deeper into O2. Now, O2, looking on the periodic table, is just two oxygens, right? And if we're just talking about oxygens, the type of molecule that this is, is a covalent molecule. Right? It's all nonmetals. There's no metal metals here. So that eliminates some of the choices of crystalline solids. Just know that an ionic, remember ionic compound going all the way back, back in Gen Chem 1, ionic needs to have a metal. So the ionic one needs to have a metal and a non-metal. So uh, ionic is out because there's no metal here. The same thing with metallic. I mean, the first part of the word metallic is metal, and there's no metals here, so we could cancel out C. So now we're down to B and E, covalent network and molecular crystals. These are the two that are dealing with covalent molecules or things that are covalent, all nonmetals. But now we just got to dive a little bit deeper. So just know that the difference between covalent network and molecular is when you're just dealing with just a, we'll say a nonmetal by itself, This is a covalent network, meaning if we were just dealing with carbon, not C2, not C3, but just carbon, usually carbon can be either in the graphite phase or in the uh, diamond phase. But if you just see just a nonmetal by itself, it's going to be a covalent network. And there is an exception here. And if you see silicon covalent molecules. So maybe like SiO2 or SiO4. But here we don't have silicon, right? We just have O2. All of your other covalent molecules are going to be molecular. So H2O, right? H2O is covalent. That would be part of the molecular crystals. 
Any other, you know, NH3, that's covalent, all nonmetals. So that would be part of your molecular one. So in this case, since it's not dealing with just one element by itself that's a nonmetal, and I don't see any silicon, this would be a molecular crystal. And that is the final answer. And I guess I should check it off on the multiple choice. Check, check, check. And we are done with this one. What'd you think? Hope this helped. Love doing a couple of multiple choice with you guys. Whenever I see a multiple choice, I get so excited. Because it's kind of like test. You know, it's like real life test question. So you could kind of see the process of elimination in order to get the right, you know, the right answer. But anyway, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. And if you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. We love helping you guys out as much as we can. And let's just keep learning. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.